What magnificent music we have here today. Well, Sir Cliff, we're delighted that you've been able to join us for this magnificent Millennium Songs of Praise. Well, I must admit it's fantastic to be here. It's fantastic that we as Christians have got a chance to bring in the Millennium in the right manner. And it's great to be with you all. Terrific. I must ask you, how did you feel being voted the United Kingdom's best known Christian? Well, I find it very hard to take those kind of polls seriously, to sort yeah. of, to kind of beat the Pope. Uh, <laughs> it's, well, I mean... It's he wasn't pleased. No, but it's understandable. He hasn't had a record out for years. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, Millennium Prayer is the record of the Millennium. Well, it was designed for us, wasn't it? Thank you. It was designed for us. It's a simple design that we should sing something positive that was simple to sing because we already knew the words and the, uh, and the music, and so therefore it worked really well. Uh -huh. You have with you the Hopes and Dreams Choir. Yes. They're over there, the Hopes and Dreams Choir. No, not that lot. That lot. That's your lot over there. Oh, that's my lot. That's your lot. Oh, I thought they were my Hopes and Dreams. <laughs> No, there's 5,000 of them, you've only got 2,000, but 2,000 of them. So tell me, what, are your, what is your hope and your dream, Cliff, for the year 2000? Well, you know, I've been saying this night after night in Birmingham where I've been doing concerts. A wonderful That's place, Birmingham. In fact, the centre of the universe, <laughs> apart from Cardiff. I told you that. <laughs> but um, I've been saying night after night that um, everything that I could wish for ourselves, for our cities, for our nations, for our planet, really, are encapsulated in the words of the Millennium Prayer. I mean, I couldn't sing for a better wishes, could I? And at least we all know the words, don't we? That's we the important do. thing. Yep. Cliff, 
I'm going to ask you to go and get ready now while I explain to this 66,000 people here exactly what I want them to do to help you to sing. Cliff Richard, ladies and gentlemen. Behind Cliff, you can see the Hopes and Dreams Choir. Now, they will be singing from the, the musical of exactly the same name, Rob Frost musical, where Millennium Prayer was first heard. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask you all to sing, and we ask you all to stand, but not the top tier. Everybody stand up, please. Now, Cliff's ready. Yes, he is. Ladies and gentlemen, the Millennium Prayer.
Amen. The people all said, incomparable Cliff Richard with the Hopes and Dreams Choir and all of us, well done Cliff, you're a real champion. We'd like you all to sit down now, please take the weight off your feet. Well, ladies and gentlemen, how do you follow a number one hit? Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you now, with the biggest harp orchestra ever assembled. There's never been 100 harps playing together before. Guinness Book of Records, please note. But on the first day of Christ's new millennium, everything is possible. Your Royal Highnesses, my Lords, ladies and gentlemen, we present the harps of Colleg Tellin Cymru. Under their conductor, Gareth Jones, they will play an arrangement of Jesu joy of man's desiring. Ladies and gentlemen, Colleg Tellin Cymru. Thank you. 
I've come backstage, away from the main arena, and it's a pleasure to meet Daniel O'Donnell, who will be singing for us shortly. Daniel, welcome to Wales, and Thank a happy you. new year to you. Thank you very much. The same to you, Ron. So, a new era, a new venue, same name in both, Millennium. How do you feel about uh, performing in such a, an auditorium? Well, it's an incredible size, and I'm sure with all of the people here, it's going to be a wonderful atmosphere. So it's, it's, a, it's a great way to start this new century, mm. to, to be present with people uh, with this common bond between them and, and singing uh, you know, religious songs. The stadium is to your liking. Do you, do you fit easily into a, a large gathering like this? Or do you well, I suppose if I were to be honest, I, I love a more intimate setting for concerts. I mean, we do um, the arenas of around 10,000 maybe once a year just for a special s show. But I, I, I do think that, that the smaller venue is, is more intimate. Mm. But then again, th there's, a, there's an atmosphere with a big place, and I'm sure here today mm. uh, the atmosphere, you know, is, is going to be electric. Yeah. So it's, there's good and bad for both, but um, I mean, I'm, I'm very, very happy to be here. Now, you'll be singing Lights a Candle. Do you easily align yourself to the songs with a message, to a, with a spiritual a cause? Well, I, I really do enjoy this song. You know, when I heard it first, I wasn't just sure. You know, I thought, I wonder, you know, will this suit me? And when I started to sing it, I, th I thought, I love this. And I think it is a lovely message because, you know, the solutions to most things are, are very simple and, and whatever, yeah. you know. And if we could only just draw back from from the complications in life and say you know take it easier you know relate to one another have have dialogue with with people i think that's that's the secret for for many things the song then has a, a simple message absolutely yeah. do you have a feeling for the millennium yourself have you well, really appraised yourself i i think that i think that you know we're all hopeful especially at home in ireland the fact that that peace has come to to northern ireland uh, I think it's it's something that that we're just delighted about, and and, and all of the people throughout the world, but especially in the north, yeah. I wish them peace. Yeah. Well, I won't disturb you further. Have a, a tremendous new start to the new millennium, and we look forward to your song, "Light a Candle." Thanks very much. Thanks a million.
Well, as we near the end of our great event here in Cardiff, let's think for a moment about one of the lines from that very familiar carol, Light and Life to All He Brings. And on this special Sunday, the first Sunday of the new millennium, we're all going to share in that light, the light of he who is the light of the world. Now, the Millennium Commission, working through the Church's Floodlighting Trust, has been helping hundreds of churches across the UK to look resplendent for their Millennium celebrations with brand new lights. Now, all of those churches are tuned into us now through their television sets, and I'm going to ask all of you, wherever you are in the country, if you will switch on your lights now. There we are, bathed in light for the first Sunday of Christ's new millennium. And the children of Cardiff are going to light our candles for us now. Right. In you go then. Pop yours in. Can you pop yours in, Sam? That's it. Have you got a candle? Here's a cup. Here's a cup. There we are. We want everyone in the stadium now to hold up their candle and share the moment of light to start a new dawn while I introduce you to, ladies and gentlemen, Daniel O'Donnell.
Well, what a wonderful afternoon we've had, and I hope that some of the fellowship that we've shared here this afternoon is stretched out to you wherever you're watching this afternoon. Just time to say thank you to our special guests, to Daniel O'Donnell, of course, to Sir Cliff Richard, to Bryn Turvel, Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber, Laura Michelle Kelly, Noel Richards, our worship leader, and the Band of the Welsh Gods. Thank you, all of you, very much indeed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, to me it's been quite, quite wondrous. Let me thank on your behalf as well, the BBC Wales choir of choirs gathered together, all 5,000 of them there, a wonderful sight. And a world first as well, this extraordinary orchestra of over a hundred harps, courtesy of colleague Telling Gumri. And also in the far corner, but what a corner, the Hopes and Dreams Choir as well. Give it there. Marvel. And I'd really like to say a great thank you to you, all 66,000 of you in the crowd. I've been so proud to be part of this crowd. It's something that I'll remember, I'm sure you'll remember, for the rest of your lives. That faith is alive and well, and singing with a cheerful voice. And we're going to... <laughs> and we take our leave of you with the words of the 100th Psalm. All people that on earth do dwell. Happy New Year! Happy New Year!